Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here. Slava Ukraini. So, let's continue playing as the Kingdom of the Ukraine. So right now we have some good news, we have some bad news, and there's a reason why I've blown up this map a little bit to see more of the entirety of the continent of Europe. So, right now we got some good news, bad news, like I said. The bad news is that the western portion of the Reich's Pact is not doing well at all. Look at this mess. A giant mess. Now, a lot of the divisions that we see... The French divisions, more particularly, are very weak. They're out of manpower. The Commune of France is out of manpower on scraping the barrel. They might be mobilizing more men, but for the most part, they're out of manpower. The Union of Britain, however, has plenty of men left. And they're going to keep fighting, which is very unfortunate. So, I have to, do, I have to commit a decision regarding this. But the good news is that Finland is coming back. All of the Reichspact members have found their way somehow into Finland and are coming back striking in the north with quite a few divisions here, which is great to see that uh, they might be able to retake Finland as well as Petrograd. So, that being said, I must make an executive decision to make sure that we, or at least the Germans, do not fall. Because if the Germans fall, they were screwed. So, this is currently the Reichspact versus the... Russian Empire, as well as the Great Khanate over here, oh, now Adriabund, and the Third International, as well as Entente. Oh. Ka uh, Galicia was given back, Galicia was given back to the Kingdom of Spain. Interesting. So, I don't want to do this, but we do have special forces that I just made from the last episode. I wanted to do, or call this episode, the Azov Campaign and strike and destroy the Cossacks, Cossacks, right now. But we can't do that. So, I'm going to tell these guys. You're going to the west. You must teach the syndicalists what it means to mess with Ukraine and her allies. I don't want to do this, but if I throw these special forces divisions to the west, the west should most likely be able to hold it. Now, it's only two divisions, but we are making more divisions, including the 501st Odessa and the 899th Kiev divisions. Good. Making five more divisions with artillery, and three more with just guns. Because I need to fill up these lines. So, uh, let's see, who do we have? We have Ivan Konovalets, and General doing a great job in the Crimea. Right now, we are attacking this tile right here, and we're just going to keep pushing as best as we can strategically. That being said, what strategically is a good word right there. That means that we must assume that the German AI is going to pull off divisions from the front line in the eastern frontier. Or at least, I would assume that. Happy 1942, every anyways, guys. That being said, my goal is to get up to this tile where my mouse is right now. Because that will cut off supplies to these divisions and can help shorten the line. So that we can move these divisions around a little bit better. Now, the front, the center portion is great. But it's too far extended without the southern portion being extended as well. We really, really got to focus on the southern portion here. Um, you guys should be doing okay. There's only a single division kind of fighting in the mountains. Oh, it's a forest, and it is winter. Yeah, fighting during winter months. Not a great idea. But I'm joined here by my cat named Binky, who's just hopped onto my bed. Bink, you want this chair? You want the chair I'm sitting in? Come on, Bink. I know you love this chair, but I'm already sitting down in it. Yep, he wants a chair. All right, so, thank you to one of my friends who has helped me pronounce some more of these words that I'm going to screw up very, very soon. Like... This says Kherson, but some would say, especially in Ukrainian, it would be Kherson. Kherson, not Kherson, but Kherson. Odessa. Uh, Cherkasy? Oh boy. Cherkase. Kase. I, I'm screwing it up already, man. Kiev. Ooh. This one. Zhetomer. Zhetomer. Rovne. Lemberg. Lviv. And Stanislaw and. Chernovitz. Something like that. Cool. Close enough. That's enough pronunciation for me at the moment. And my cat stole my chair from me. Anyways. Cool. Um, we're not really ready to strike. We are out of... Actually, we got quite a few guns and quite a few artillery pieces, which is great, but we need a lot more support equipment. So, support equipment. I don't want to do this too often. Do that. Now, that does hurt our steel, but we can always buy more steel from the Germans, which I'm okay with. And what are we doing with our current production of stuff. We're building up another civilian factory, as well as some more radar. Uh, radar in the Crimea region. That's not a bad idea, actually, but I do need more factories, so. And I did notice right here, 
we don't need as many things of tungsten, so thank you very much. Doing well on that. Doing seven a day on artillery. Greatness awaits. Oh, looks like we expanded up here. Very good, very, very good. Um, since they're attacking, you might as well help attack so we can get up to this tile. That would be great. Yeah, I'm just a little worried about this. Just a little bit. Especially in the north here. Now, I have been told that maybe I should make my entire front line extend up to Petrograd. I could, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> I just don't feel like it. Cool. So we're just going to keep striking up to get to that tile. That'll be the most important thing as our soldiers are moving around. Improved artillery upgrade number two. Very nice. Let's get even better artillery. We need the best artillery. The best artillery possible. Um, If we can strike somewhat relatively south, I will. I will constantly do that. Good. Destroy the division. Very nice. And it looks like the Germans are attacking as well. I might as well help them out. Or at least, maybe here. Good, good, good. Germany, please do not destroy your own divisions. I don't mind attacking or helping you attack in certain locations. Because that will help flatten the front line. Um, if you want to help out here, that's okay with me. Just keep an eye on all of our goods. You guys, come here. That'll be good. I do have some coffee here, but I just made it, so it's very, very hot. So I'm not going to drink it yet. Alright, my boys, how are you going? You're still in the Ukraine. Um, well, as long as we throw our... Well, I might need to throw more divisions this way as well. I'm probably going to need to. There's too many divisions on this side here. The Union of Britain has quite a few. Please do not attack. That's good. That's not good. Um... Hmm. Not looking good. Really not looking good. The faster I can take that province, the faster the Germans can reinforce their lines. I'm hoping that the divisions in the north will help push further to Petrograd. Now, all these divisions are up that are up here, they really should have went down to the lowlands and helped them down here. That probably would have been for the best. How many men have... They've lost 1.88 million. That's not bad. I've lost half a million. The Russians have lost 3 million. Not bad, not bad. Just keep defending, guys. Keep on defending as... Oh, Germany, please stop attacking. Please. You can't support all these attacks. I guess I might help you here, though. Good. Hmm. You know what? If I have to, I will move my line around. Oh, you know what? I'll do it. Screw it. I'll do it. I'll help hold the entire front line. That might make the Russians come try to attack us. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. We got plenty enough guns, plenty enough artillery. I'm going to add in one more of these special forces for now. And I'm going to call you... Um... Uh, sure, but we'll call you the 323rd. Idar. Cool. We need one of those divisions. Add more one here as well. If we can just get our special forces over here, that will definitely help hold certain key locations. So, we have to realign ourselves. Unfortunate. I hate it. I don't want to realign ourselves. Looks like the Kozaks have quite a bit of supplies, depending on where they're at. Ooh. Thank you. I will take some more... Oh, goodness. We're out of guns. Because we just created two more divisions. Two more 20 width artillery divisions, it looked like. Good. Three up here. Oh, and this is Simon Petlura. Supposedly. That's supposedly how you pronounce it. And Melnik. Melnik. Hello. Hello, Melnik. Hold the front line, my boys. Just keep stacking more soldiers here. Looks, yep, the Germans are definitely trying to funnel some divisions away from the south. Even though they really never put any divisions in the north to begin with anyways. Well, they never put divisions in the south. Come on. Where are my special forces? They're still in transit. The game is kind of kind of slow. But, you know, whatever. Um, you can help out here, probably. You can probably help out here. And you can send in another division to help out that way as well. Next up, you two will help push and flatten out the line that way. Um, you two help push that way. You two help push this way. And then you two push that way as well. Good. Good, good, good. Ooh, 54. There's only one division there. I don't mind if you help, perhaps... That could be pretty good. 
extended our front line. We are making no... Ooh, we're actually losing political power because of occupations. Oh, we're occupying quite a bit of land. That makes sense. Oh, come on, Germany. You can hold out. Hold out a monster. Come on, man. Oh, the Netherlands is not doing well whatsoever. All right, we need strategic redeployment on. I need them to move faster. First Galician, first Kharkov. Oh, no, it's Ka Kharkiv. Kharkiv, something like that. Go on, help them out here. Or, keep pushing. Yeah, probably keep pushing. In the south, is anyone getting attacked or attacking? Yeah, this is definitely stretched out my lines quite a bit. Munster might fall. Oh, they're attacking across into Alsace Lorraine as well, but that's not a smart idea for them because they don't have a lot of equipment or manpower on their sides. They can pierce all the enemies, so that's pretty good. Over here, not so good. All right, over here though might be okay to attack. They only have one division there, but fairly skilled general. Black Sea Bombers, very nice, very nice. Time to pour some coffee. Ah, very good. Time for a Odessa Harbor. Odessa was always an important trade port for the Ukraine. That's why we must be ready to defend the city with our Black Sea Fleet. We should expand the harbor in Odessa, in which we get five naval bases, a coastal fort, infrastructure, and three naval dockyards. That sounds very good to me. Very, very good to me. Germany, you can't keep attacking like this. Especially with what's happening in the vest. Oh, what's going on here? Are we not... Are these Germans? Yeah, they're mostly Germans attacking. Is it possible, though, for me to attack here, though? Three against two, maybe not. I'm not thinking they will be able to win. Yeah, just hold on. Right here is not a bad area to attack either. But there's only a single division defending there. Help them out, guys. Help them out. Uh, it's not a bad place. I just don't have the divisions, the strength to push these enemies out. I'm just really worried about this area down here, though. Oh, sorry, Bink. Didn't mean to hit the chair that you're sitting on. It's already March. Very nice. Very nice. These two divisions are getting there. They're almost there. They're already in Germany, which is great. Um, we're still trying. Still trying, which is good. Keep pushing. Keep pushing a little bit. Give them no peace, no quarter. Awesome. Now we definitely need to push around here. Oh, it looks like the Reichspact is trying to push further and deeper into Finnish territory, which is good. But it's going okay. It's not going great. You guys attack here. Attack here. Also, I did fix up my motorized divisions. Now they're 20 combat with, with motorized artillery, so it's very nice. Um, support equipment is doing pretty well now. Much better. 19 a day. That's pretty good. Artillery is okay. I need to make more planes, but I do not have enough factories that are good enough right now. Good. We're not attacking us at the moment. How many divisions are here? Oh, there's, that's too many to attack there. Three divisions, that's too much. Too much, too many. Good. Some of our special divisions are here. Nice. Go and throw yourself down there. Really? Oh, uh, well, actually, maybe not. Throw yourself over here. Uh, come up to here, here, to here. Uthrak. Try that. This is disgusting. I wish there was some... Oh, there goes Haiti. I wish there was some, um... Ships here that could kill the convoys that are supplying all these enemies, but, you know, whatever. Especially the Union of Britain guys, but whatever. But then again, the Union of Britain can... No, they could go all around here. But it looks like Canada invaded the Union of Britain. Oh, boy. Yeah, you're coming right here. These guys definitely probably need some help. Also, Hawaii is in the Reichs Pact. That's just because they probably wanted to do that for fun. They only have three divisions. They're not scraping the barrel. Wow. So they're probably just doing that for protection, but yeah, I don't know. That doesn't seem very smart for that, but whatever. The Japanese are killing some Mongolians, which isn't good whatsoever. Uh, can we flatten this out maybe perhaps? Yes, we can. Very good. Um, I need to take that tile next. This would be a good tile to get to, but I've not, I do not have enough divisions. But we're going to keep pushing north. If I can take this tile, that'd be great. So let's take this tile first. Good. Oh man, they're attacking like crazy. I'm gonna you know, I'm going to extend this the entire way over just because we might 
need to do that. We just might need to do that so that I can move my soldiers wherever they are and wherever they need to be. My soldiers are fairly unorganized though, but that's okay. Send the Spec Ops Special in special Forces to the west. Help hold the line. Ooh, down here definitely need some help. Um, but I can't really do much since I'm already occupied down here. Oh, you guys are... Come down here. That'd be good for you guys. Oh, Kingdom of Greece was annexed. Austria took most of it. Oh, that's disgusting. That is quite... Oh, we sunk seven Russian convoys in exchange for one of our subs. Interesting. If that's the case, if you want to play like that, Russia, then... Ooh, actually, go ahead and integrate those guys. Go ahead and do this. I have, I think, enough fuel for now that we can go ahead and start destroying any sort of ships that you have in the Black Sea. Yep, and there goes the Kingdom of Greece. Looking pretty sa sad, honestly. Pretty darn sad. Thessalonica. Come on, get down to Amsterdam. Help defend. Uh, I have this division down here. Come down to the south, the southern portion. And move your way this way. Bulgaria. Oh! Okay, Bulgaria declared war on Turkey. That's interesting. That's something I wouldn't have thought of. Oh, goodness, no. Flanders has fallen. That's not good. That's really not good. But, we might be able to move around. Take this spot. Take this spot. Give me the motorized division that can help out here. Attack here. Close this off. Petrograd. Hopefully the northern divisions in Finland can help attack further and further south. Nice, we sunk 15 Russian convoys. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, where are my soldiers? Oh, they're moving around. You're moving all around, too. What is the price that the Union of Britain is paying for to get this stuff? That's a lot of dead. That's a lot of dead. Germany's lost almost 6 million, though, so that's still a lot of dead as well. You know what? Come over here to up here. You might not have, not have a lot of organization, but still better than nothing. Ooh, we have found some convoys. Yeah, I'm really not paying attention to the front too much here, but that's okay since we just cut these guys off. We might be able to help push into Petrograd. That actually would be really cool. Convoys? Oh, if you want to take a picture of this, too. There you go. If you wanted to. And help me pronounce some things. And there's some, some more stuff up here. Cool. Um, This might be a good area where we can shuffle in a few more divisions. There's only one division holding out. They have a lot of traits. That's alright. Good. Right here is still optimal to get from these guys. Only one division holding out against my five. We should be able to win there. Over here, obviously, looks like a very good place to strike. Good. Kind of wish the Cossacks would try to attack me down here in the south, but, you know, you never know. So we're attacking with five divisions against four. Yeah, that's probably not going to be very good. we are dug in. That's not worth it. Yeah, attacking the Cossacks is very... Oh my goodness, that's not good. I'm going to need more divisions quickly. So, that means any division I make right now has to go to the west. I mean, yeah, I sent two divisions down here, and that's great and all, but it's just not enough. Um, 1942, more heart attack and piercing. I don't think we're really fighting too many tanks, but I could be wrong. Come to Aachen. That'd be good. Mm hmm. Russia. You're not even halfway to capitulating. That's pretty bad. Um, come here. You should be able to take this. There's only two divisions there. Yeah, that's good. The Germans are attacking. I'm going to help them support their attack. Thank you. Right here would be good to get as well. Go ahead and help them out here. Um, if you want to attack this way, I'm kind of okay with that. Everywhere else, not really a smart idea, Germany. Not really a smart idea. Right here, though, is kind of a smart idea. 
Get my divisions in there, Germany. You need my divisions. Um, it's not working out so well for us. Well, maybe it will be. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Petrograd. We're getting closer and closer again to Petrograd. That's great. Down here is a giant mess. Come on, guys. They... Let's see. They've lost almost 100,000 more men, which is great, but... Don't worry about attacking. Just defend, defend, defend. These syndicalists will perish. Totalists, anarchists, you know, the like. Um... Oh, mine my, my, Wow, the Spec Ops Divisions was defeated. Holy cow. That's kind of insane, because we have so many divisions down there, and they're just trying to hold the line. Oh, what happened over here? Is the front line all messed up or something, or...? Yeah, it looks like it might be messed up. Hmm. Yep, it's messed up. Oh, well. Oh, wait. Um, okay. What happened? They... Okay, so Mongolia just gave up this territory. That's not a terrible thing for Mongolia, since they're still fighting the Russians. That's not terrible. That could be much worse. Oh, and now we might be able to get Petrograd. Interesting. Hmm. I'm just worried about the east right now. Let's redeploy these soldiers. We're going to have some extra soldiers soon to help hold the west. So, Brest Litovsk will be the key location where we deploy more soldiers. You were defeated as well. Holy cow. Oh, and there go the Netherlands. That's extremely bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good at all. Hmm. Supplies, supplies, supplies. We're doing well in guns and artillery. Throw two more. And you know what? We're not done throwing more in there. Just keep throwing as many as you possibly can. This looks like a good area we can attack at. This also looks like a good area we might be able to attack at as well. Um, I'd like to attack here, maybe, if possible. Petrograd. Really, we really, really need Petrograd. But, yeah, attacking over river, just not a good idea. I need the forces in the north to actually push through the Russian forces, which would be great. If they can take Helsinki, that would be awesome. But everyone's very, very disorganized. We lost another sub in exchange for two convoys. Not the greatest trade ever. Um, right here, looks like it won't be too bad. Very nice. Uh, we might have enough divisions to actually strike here. Maybe. Odessa Harbor, very good. Do seize fleet. Let's do that. A large fleet is only suiting for Ukraine. As without it, we won't be able to control long coasts of the Black and Azov Seas. Azov Seas. Awesome. We are still trying to attack. But where did my di divisions go? Where'd you Ooh, advanced firebase. Nice. Better recovery rate, more organization, and stuff like that. And finally, we will end with shock and awe. More soft attack and heart attack for most of our divisions. Great. More special forces? I'm sorry, I've got to throw you to the border to the west. If we don't hold the west, it's all over. Wait, why are you attacking? Just hang on. Hold on. Special forces in the west, that should help out at least a little bit. You seem to be doing okay. I'm going to have you come this way as well. I don't mind if the Germans retreat... Okay, I didn't notice this. I was kind of waiting for them to attack me in the south. But it looks like, for the most part, we can mostly hold. Which is a great thing, because we might need to do a counterattack right now. Which will produce no results. Okay, then. Who is... I think it's just the Cossacks that are attacking us. They feel... Okay. Persia declared war in Afghanistan. Ah, very good. Very good. Finished all that coffee. Delicious. Yeah, the German forces. Extremely weak. Just extremely weak right now. Could I attack with this many divisions, six divisions versus three, without air superiority, to here? Perhaps. Perhaps. 
Nice. We can maybe help do this. They need an extra little bit of help. You can do that. The southern portion, I think we'll do pretty well in the south here. Right now, we need more guns. We have plenty of support equipment, which means I can make make us have another deficit soon enough. We got artillery, we got recon, we got engineers. I might throw on field hospitals, because right now we have negative political power, and we are we need to think about our manpower, really. Oh, help out a Namur. If you can. If there's enough time, please help out Namur. I don't think there's going to be enough time, though, to help him out now. Come on. Get another division in there. And... Oh, they... Oh, they actually stalled me from getting in there. How many divisions are we facing? Five, including two tank divisions. Wowzers. My... More of the spec ops are coming that way, which is great. We're holding in the south. The north is just attacking. Excuse me. Attacking like crazy. Which isn't always the best thing to do. Is there anywhere in particular I can help flatten the front line? Perhaps right here. And we might win. Oh, they have three divisions there. Um, we should, yeah, we should be able to win that one. Next up, we might be able to win... No, not right here. Ah, oh, Germany, you're so out of resources. I really need more resources for you, Germany. you are also at war with Georgia, if you didn't remember. But we're at war with Georgia. Hmm. We're losing political power, which isn't good. Yeah. Issue of the Russian language. We need to fix that eventually. Uh, Austria? Good luck attacking. So, really, I would love to send more forces to the east, but, like I said earlier... I need to send all available divisions to the west. I have to. It's an unfortunate result of this war so far. Just hold the line in the west. That's really what all you have to do. We got plenty of divisions coming to help. If we can hold out, great. If we can't, well then we lose. I would really like to keep doing this part of the campaign, but I cannot... Three more divisions. Yeah, the Russians are definitely getting more and more supplies as time goes on. Oh, good God, no. Two Sicilies is gone. That's not good for us. Nice, we're winning there. That's good. Um, Right here, we might be able to do something right here. Supply-wise, we need more guns. You know what, I'm going to take this off. Uh, once we make another division here, I'll take that off. Um, 1942. The game is lagging quite a bit. And, oh, hello there, Austria. It wouldn't be a Valkyrie without them. While some military minds in Europe had believed that any inevitable continental war would be over in a matter of months due to powerful new technolog technological advances, however, any lingering delusions about the scale of modern warfare have quickly vanished in the face of the torrid tales of brutality coming out of conflict ravaged Western Europe. Vienna has looked on with trepidation at the rearmament of syndicalist powers for years, but now with open conflict threatening to upturn the balance of power in Europe, they decided to openly intervene against the Internationale. Already, Imperial troops are marching against syndicalist forces, posing a new threat to the World Revolution. Awesome. Awesome. Good, good, good. So that means they're probably going to send forces to Germany, and that'll help bolster their defenses. And if that happens, I we might be able to send our forces back to the east and help push uh, the Russians back further and further. Good. The Communard Austrian War. So they're not really bordering any sort of international now since they lost northern Italy, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. We'll definitely have to see what happens with them. Oh, good. More artillery. Awesome. Um, give me some more research speed. I need that. Right here might be an excellent spot to attack. Um... Very nice. Very nice. Come on, guys. Yeah, you probably don't need to help attack. Just kind of stall there. Um, Who's invading? The Netherlands continually tries to invade that area. But to no avail. Could we attack here? Three divisions are defending against our five. Well, yes, we should be able to. It looks like we might be able to attack right here as well. Definitely. Definitely. Our front line has stopped moving as much as we would have liked it to. Right now, we need to repair a lot of our factories. 
or a lot of factories that have been damaged, right? But we're going to build up some factories so that this doesn't continue to happen. Do that. Yeah, we just need more factories. So I can't really produce more artillery right now. We need more guns. We need more artillery. Um, put artillery on top. We're doing okay on support equipment. Yeah, we're definitely doing okay on support equipment for now. Good. Just small wins here and there are great. Ooh. Oh, we actually sunk four enemy destroyers. A cruiser as well as four Italian convoys. Glorious. Nice. You guys are doing okay. Just hold out as best as possible. we got some divisions up here. I think they're mostly just infantry. No, nope. They have a little bit of artillery on them. That's good. That's very good. Definitely don't have a lot of political power, unfortunately. Twelve... French convoys have been sunk, following up with a few more. Nice. Very good. Next up... Ooh, we can't attack there. We're still recovering from the last attack, which is fine. Still recovering, still recovering. Totally cool with me. And the Germans are going at it. Oh, Germany, 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 Germany. Germany. Man, come on. I, I love attacking. I love... Trust me, I love attacking, but sometimes you need to know when to attack and when to hold, you know? Uh, how many divisions are actually... Five? Yeah, that's that's a no-go from us. Uh, we sunk another three enemy convoys. That's great. You're attacking this direction, which I will actually applaud because we want to get to that river as fast as possible. Um, anywhere else we can help support the attack. Right here would be great as well. Anywhere we can help support. Right there. Help them out. Help them out. Help them out. Help them out. If we throw in two more divisions this way, they might be able to do okay. Uh, the West. Well, the West is definitely one big front now. But we do have quite a few divisions over here, at least trying to help out. That's good. That's actually pretty good. Could be much, much worse. But that's pretty much all the time for that we have today. Day. Uh, I don't want to say it like that, but I am thinking currently right now. This. The war against Russia is getting more and more difficult as they are beating the Mongolians and the Turkestani Khanate people quite a bit. That being said, as you can tell, like I've said, the front is stalling out a little bit because the Western Front is having problems. So I'm planning that I'm going to say this. I'm going to play this a little bit ahead of time. Just because I think I need to. Just to, so that we can get through this campaign a little bit quicker because if we're pretty much 10 episodes in. I want to be finished by the time we hit 20 episodes and that includes going to war with the Germans and the Reich's Pact as well as going to war with the Austrians and Kaiser Karl. So, I'm going to play this a little bit ahead of time and not too much further ahead of time, but regardless, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below and I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you all have a great day. And Binky says goodbye. See you later.